This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, July the 22nd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Satellite image this morning shows that we have mostly clear skies across much of the state of Alabama. Uh, do note a few clouds along the Gulf Coast, uh, but otherwise uh, we're looking pretty good this morning. Over the uh, southeastern U.S., we have a surface high-pressure system with a complex frontal system that has brought a lot of rain to the uh, Great Lakes region over the last couple of days. In the upper atmosphere, unfortunately, the ridge has uh, basically holding sway from coast to coast across the southern tier of the United States. That will be changing, though, it appears this week. The temperatures this morning starting out in the lower 70s for the most part, uh, but uh, many locations in the mid and upper 70s. The uh, radar for the uh, regional uh, locations across the southeastern U.S., fairly quiet. Do note a few showers in the Gulf and along the Gulf Coast and a couple showers over central Mississippi. The big news, I think, right now is the heat advisories that we have in effect for uh, parts of the Carolinas, uh, a large part of the southeastern U.S., including some, uh, much of central and uh, northern Alabama, as well as a good deal of the central plain states. The... Uh, QPF, or a quantitative precipitation forecast for the next uh, five days, is uh, showing a rather uniform amount of on the order of one to two inches across the southeastern U.S. Remember, that won't come evenly. That comes in the form of showers, so it'll be uh, you know, a, a hit or miss thing where you get half an inch today and maybe nothing m a Sunday or Monday, and then you get another half inch on Tuesday. The Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk of uh, severe weather from the mid-Atlantic states back into eastern Minnesota on uh, day one. For day two, uh, that would be Sunday, uh, the risk shifts primarily from about Chicago to the mid-Atlantic states. Uh, and then for day three, uh, we're uh, out of the slight and have uh, just marginals over the mid-Atlantic states and southern New England, as well as over the Dakotas and Minnesota. Tropics in the Atlantic are very quiet. Not quite so quiet in the eastern North Pacific where we have three systems, including uh, Tropical Storm Greg, but fortunately all of those are moving away from land. All right, the 060 GFS model run this morning, and you can see that we're just going to have showers and thunderstorms. The upper ridge is certainly in place over uh, the southeastern U.S., actually stretching from the southeast coast of the U.S. to the southwestern coast of the U.S. That begins to change, though, on Sunday as a uh, strong trough drops in to the Great Lakes region from uh, south-central Canada. And that uh, is helping to push and nudge that ridge back to the west. Uh, for us, we stay in the soup. That is, the uh, uh, precipitable water values are still very high, so we're going to uh, have to forecast showers. The trough moves into the eastern Great Lakes uh, and New England on Monday. And as it does, we expect to see a weak front come down into the area. That, together with rather high precipitable water values, as you can see from the precipitable water chart, uh, I think is going to uh, uh, produce a little bit better chances for uh, rain for the uh, southeastern U.S. The uh, trough moves on, and so the frontal boundary kind of remains in our area on uh, Tuesday. And once again, the precipitable water values remain rather high. So I think Monday and Tuesday are the two better chances for uh, rain to occur across our area. The upper air chart for Wednesday shows uh, another trough coming in across the southern part of Canada and uh, into the northern Great Lakes. That won't have much impact on us, although it begins to have a little bit of an impact on Thursday as it keeps the trough in place over the eastern part of the country. But it, do note that Wednesday and Thursday, the ridge kind of tries to nose in once again, so temperatures may climb a little bit. We do note on Thursday that uh, the uh, uh, trough is uh, dragging a front down into the Ohio River Valley, so we'll be watching that. That could reach our area by the weekend. On Friday, we see the upper air pattern is still in, uh, in such uh, a pattern that we have the troughiness over the eastern part of the country and the ridge over the west. And, uh, and once again, with that front coming down into the area and with precipitable water values remaining very high, I think uh, maybe Friday and once again on Saturday, uh, as we see that the, uh, the overall troughiness uh, remains in place on Saturday, uh, and we also note that precipitable water values are very high once again on Saturday. 
Looks like a pretty good chance for showers by the end of the week, maybe Friday into Saturday. But let's look for some consistency with the models that far out. Looking out into voodoo country, uh, we do see that the trough uh, does dive in pretty nicely and reinforces the trough over the eastern part of the country, according to the GFS, on Sunday. So uh, once again, that could spell some uh, wetter weather for us uh, as we head uh, into the latter part of the weekend and the first of the next week. The GFS is fairly bullish on keeping the trough over the eastern part of the country. This is uh, Tuesday, the 1st of August, and so once again, that keeps us out of excessive heat. And even though the trough wanes a little bit by the 4th of August, uh, we still see that uh, we do have the troughiness, the ridge primarily uh, over the southwestern part of the United States, so that keeps us out of the high heat. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on uh, Sunday morning. Stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day. Stay cool and Godspeed.